did the Irish have it right when they switched from growing traditional European grains to potatoes? I'm sure many of you have heard of the great potato famine and the atrocities and horrors that came out of that. But in general, when they switched from growing those grains to growing potatoes, did they have it right? Let's talk about actual numbers between the two and see. Which way should you go if you're trying to grow and survive? Today I want us to talk about some staple crops, particularly wheat, barley, things along that nature, versus tubers, particularly potatoes. It's really interesting numbers in this. Now, generally speaking, the West has been very, very high intensity on wheat, barley, oats, rye, for a couple thousand years. Now, I ran across an interesting number that kind of took me aback. I knew it, but at the same time, when I covered that stuff, it was so long ago, that kind of, you know, fell in the cracks. Time and all. It takes six to eight acres of wheat or barley per person per year to give them their daily bread. That's a lot of space. That's a lot of work. I mean, that's unfathomable amount of work. You just be out there cutting grass forever. So, I decided to poke at it. You get, with wheat or barley, about 60 pounds per bushel. You get around 40 bushels per acre, making it 2,400 pounds per acre, times 6 to 8 acres per person. Potatoes, on the other hand... Produce 25,000 to 35,000 pounds per acre. That is a greater than 10 times return. Starch is starch. Essentially, that comes down to around a quarter of an acre to three quarters of an acre per person per year if they ate potato instead of bread. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my bread. I love pasta. I've brewed ale. I've brewed beer. I like wheat and barley and hops and all the good things you throw into a beer. Love my bread. Good bread. Butter, a little bit of honey. I'm a happy person. Could you imagine if you actually had to harvest that by hand like our ancestors did? So if we find ourselves in a situation where we need to really produce food, it seems like it'd make a lot more sense to plant potatoes than traditional grains. Sweet potatoes happen to have about the same type of numbers as White potatoes, Irish potatoes. Now, there are other starchy roots that we could be planting that are going to produce even more. African yams, for example. Although, they don't stay in one place quite the same way. And they take longer. And you've got to be in a subtropic to a tropic area where 
Potatoes are done, generally speaking, around 120 days. Now, this is assuming that you're only doing one crop per year. A lot of areas you can do two. So you can actually half that. Potatoes don't need to go through near as much work. You don't have to harvest it the same way. Although, harvesting potatoes is quite backbreaking if you do it in a traditional way. But you don't have to dry the grains. You don't have to store the grains the same way. You're not going to have as many rodent problems. Potatoes, on the other hand, you just let them sit out in the sun for a little bit, and I mean a very little bit, and let them cure, and stack them up, put them in your cellar, and you're good to go for like a year. So, if you're ever trying to figure out how much grain, or how much potatoes, per person, you need to plant, basic rule of thumb is six to eight acres of grain, Per person and a half to three quarters of an acre of potatoes per person. Choose wisely there. How much land do you really got? And how much can you actually harvest and process without the modern techniques that we have now? And bread would be a lot more expensive. A lot more expensive. It's very labor intensive. Potatoes with the modern equipment aren't all that labor intensive. Just a thought. You're going to make a choice for your own home garden. It might be fun to grow a small patch of wheat. But you're not going to get a lot. is the most efficient crop that you can grow by acre. Historically, it is top dog. i surprised at what that answer is. The answer is corn. Corn grows more food than any other crop grown anywhere in the world by acre. It's just amazing. 